dear student in continuation to my lecture series of normalization today i am going to discuss how to find the candidate key so before the start of the candidate key uh, you must know what is candidate key so candidate key is a super key with no repeated attribute the primary key should be selected from the candidate key and every table must have at least a single candidate key so from the candidate key the one key can be assigned as a primary key right so the uh, candidate key you can easily understand by the help of this example where a relation r a b c d is given and a set of fds is given and then you have to find what you have to find the candidate key right so the first step first to find which attribute is not present on the right hand side of these fd right so a is there on the right hand side from r b is there on the right hand side from r and c and d is there on the right hand side from r right that means every attribute present on the right hand side right so the next step is now find the closer of a plus now find the closer of uh, b plus find the closer of uh, c plus and find the closer of d plus right so the closer of a plus the closer of a plus is uh, simple a and the closer of uh, b plus is simple uh, b because b is not determined to anybody and the closer of c plus is c and a right c and a and the closer of uh, d plus the closer of d plus is d and b that means single attribute is not the candidate key over here now what you have to do you can make a two attribute combination right so the first combination we can take over here is like uh, a b plus and the second combination we can take over here a c plus and the third combination we can take over here a d plus now find the closer of a b plus so the closer of a b plus is a b and here a b determines c d so you can write uh, c d over here so how to find the closer that we already discussed in my previous lecture right and the closer of a c the closer of a c is a c and uh, a c so simple the closer of a c is a c right and the closer of a d the closer of a d and d determine b and d is there so you can write over here b and in the first fd ab determine cd so ab is there and d is already there so you can write over here c so what happened here the two candidate key you got the first is the ab and the second one is the ad plus now further to check the candidate key don't take any combination of ab or ad right so like uh, here uh, b so for the b ab you have already taken uh, b c b c and b d right this is the another combination of double attribute so b c closer of b c is b c and c is there okay c determine a so c determine a, a, a is there and in the first fd ab determine c d so ab is there and c is already there so you can add over here d right so the closer of bc is abcd that means again whole relation r so this is one of the candidate key again now find the closer of uh, bd uh, so the closer of bd 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 is simple bd right now the closer of c now the closer of c ca no need to check the ca because already checked cb is already checked no need to check it and cd yes cd is not checked till now so you find the closer of cd so the closer of cd is cd and uh, d determine b uh, c determine a so c determine a so you can write over a here a and d determine b so you can write b over here also so what does it mean in this relation uh, there are four uh, candidate key the one candidate key is a b and another candidate key is uh, a d and another candidate key is b c and another candidate key is c d so we have four candidate key in this uh, relation now similar to this one 
uh, you can more understand uh, how to find the candidate key from this relation also right see in this example the relation r is there and a set of functional dependencies over there now what you have to do you have to find the essential attribute essential attribute or mandatory attribute you can write so the essential attribute are those attribute which is not present on right hand side so here uh, a is there right hand side b is not there right hand side c is there d is there e is there and f is there so all attribute present on the right hand side now find the closure of b plus right so the closure of b plus is uh, the closure of b plus is simple b right so not the whole relation r so now what you have to do you have to make a combination of the attribute where b must be there because b must be a part of the candidate key because it is not present on the right hand side right so similar to that one just make a group like a b a b uh, c b c b d b d b e b and f b f b right so first you have to find the closure of uh, a b plus right so when you find the closure of uh, a b plus then what happens see uh, a b is there okay and in the first fd a b determines c and a b is a subset of this one so here you can write a b c and uh, c is there yes c is there c determine d so you can write over here d and here d determine e so d is there so you can write over e and e determine f is there so you can write f and uh, a b c d e f the whole relation r so this is one of the candidate key now check for the c b plus now for the c b c b is there c b is there c determine d so you can add d over here and d determine e and d is there so you can write e over here e determine f over here and f determine a over here right so a b c d e f so this is also one of the candidate key now find the closure of uh, d b so the closure of d b is d b and uh, d b d determine e d is there so e you can write over here e determine f you can write f over here and f determine a so you can write a over here and uh, a b a b is there and in the first f d a b determine c so a b determine c is there so a b c d e f all the attribute so this is also one of the candidate key right now the second find the closure of e b plus e b plus simple write the e b and e b e b e determine f so you can write over here and f determine a and f is there so you can write a over here now a b is there so you can write here a b determine c so c you can write over here if c is there then c determine d so d determine over here now a b c d e f so all these are the uh, whole relation are now check the f b f b right f b means uh, f b f b and, uh, and 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 f determine a f determine a and now a b is there and a b determine c is there so here you can write uh, c and c determine d so you can write d and d determine e so d determine e e determine f is already there and f determine a is already there that means a b c d a b c d e f all the attributes over here now see what happened the closure of a b is the whole relation r the closure of c b is the whole relation r the closure of d b is the whole relation r the closure of e b is the whole relation r and the closure of f b is the whole relation r now is it possible to make the combination of three attribute no it is not possible because when you make a three attribute then what happened there should not be a group of a b c b d b e b and f b right so this relation consists uh, a b this relation consists a b c b d b d b e b and f b so this relation consists the five candidate key so in first example that we discuss over here 
right hand side every attribute is there and in this second example b is not there on right hand side so we take the, this uh, another type of example now just discuss the third example see what happened a relation r is there and a set of attributes over there now what you have to check you have to check is there any attribute is there any attribute uh, which is not present on the right hand side right so a is there yes a is there b is there c c is there d is there on the right hand side a b c d e is there on the right hand side and f is there on the right hand side that means no essential attribute over there so what you have to do now now find the closer of a plus find the closer of uh, b plus find the closer of c plus find the closer of d plus find the closer of e plus find the closer of f plus right so when you find the closer of a plus then see what happened the closer of uh, a plus uh, a plus the closer of a plus is simple a the closer of a plus is simple a right uh, because yes the closer of a plus is simple a and the closer of uh, b plus 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 is uh, b b and uh, simple b over there right so okay b over there and the closer of c over here the closer of c over here c c determined d is there d determined e b is there and uh, e is there so e determined f is there and f determined a is there right so c is the one of the candidate key now find the closer of d so when you find the closer of d then what happened d d and uh, d determine e b so you can write over here e b and uh, e b and e determine f so you can write over here f and f determine a you can write over here a so uh, a, right and a b is there so you can write over here c also so a b c d e f right the whole relation r now find the fd of e so when you find the close uh, sorry closer of e when you find the closer of e then e f a because uh, e determine f and f determine a okay and and and, and any more no not not more so not the whole relation r so this is also not a candidate key is not a candidate key now find the closer of f the closer of f f determine a f determine a simple f a the closer of so what happened c and d attribute are the candidate key right now don't take any combination of uh, c and uh, d right up the next combination what you can take over here uh, if you first take the combination of a so a b yes a b you can take a c no a d no a e yes you can check the a e and a f you can check the uh, closer of a f right so a b a e and a f right so the closer of a b the closer of a b is a b c because a b determine c and c determine d so you can write d d determine e b so d is there so you can write uh, e b b is already there and e determine f so e determine f e is already there so you can write over here f and f determine a to a then a b c d e f right this is the whole relation r now check for a e now when you find the closer of a e then what happen a e a e a e and e determine f so e f over here f determine a so you, a is already there right so a e uh, simple uh, the closer of uh, a is a a e f right now find the closer of a plus a f right so the closer of a f is a f a f a f and f determine a a f is a f right right so the here the closer of uh, a b plus is the whole relation r right 
now no, no, take the combination with b take the combination with b the, now what happened b uh, b a no need to check it b c no need to check it because c is the candidate key already b d is no need to check it because d is already a candidate key now what you can check you can check over here b e b e b e plus and you can check over here b f right so the closure of b is b e b e and uh, e determine f f f determine a okay and a b is there so a b determine c c is also there and c determine d d is also there so this is also one of the candidate key a b e b is also one of the candidate key right now check the b f now check the b f now b f right as it is and 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 b f b f now f determine a so f determine a then you can write over here a and a b over there so a b determine c so you can write c over here c over here then c determine d you can write d over here d determine e you can write d determine e over here f is already there so a b c d e f this is again the whole relation r so what happened till now we just find out the candidate key c d a b b e or b f right now check any more combination uh, is it possible any more combination is it uh, possible now yes uh, the combination over here uh, e f is possible e f the one more combination we can check over here e f now check the e f so when you find the closure of e f then what happen e f e f e f e f and f determine a f determine a f determine a right this one so not the whole relation r right now till now the c c d a b b e and b f c d a b b or b f right so is it possible to make any more uh, combination of three attribute but there should not be taken uh, together this a b b b f or c or d right so now it is not possible to make any more uh, combination right so uh, this relation is having total how much this relation is having total five candidate key right now come to the next question in this question what you have to do a relation r is there a determine a b c d e and a determine b c f d and c d determine e b determine d e determine a right again yes just solve it uh, first find the attribute which is not present on the right hand side a is present on the right hand side b is present c is present uh, d is present and e is present all the attribute present on the right hand side so if all the attribute present on the right hand side then what we have to do first we have to find the closure of a plus second we have to find the closure of b plus third we have to find the closure of c plus a b c d plus and e plus right so the closure of uh, a plus so when you find the closure of a plus then what happen uh, a determine b c so you can write over here a b c right and c d d c d is not there b determine d yes b is there so you can write over here d and uh, a b c d and uh, yes c d is there and c d determine e so e is there so a b c d e whole relation r so this is one of the candidate key now check for the b plus now when you find the closure of uh, b plus then b plus uh, b and and then then b determine d so b d is there uh, that's all right so not the whole relation r now check for the c now when you find the closure of c then c 
C and simple C is there, right? So not the whole relation R. And the closure of D, the closure of D, the simple D is there, right? So not the whole relation R. Now the closure of E, the closure of E is E A, E A, E A, and A determined B C. So B C and uh, B C C D is not there. B is there. So you can write D, B determine D and A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, whole relation R, whole relation R. So that means uh, till now the A and E are the candidate key. Now what you have to do, don't take any combination of A and E, right? Now what is the rest combination you can take? You can take the B, C closer. You can take the B D closer. Now find the closer of B C. When you find the closer of B C, then what happen? B C you can write as it is, and B determine D. So B determine D. That means you can write over here D, right? And uh, the first uh, C D is there. C D. So C D determine E. So you can write over here E, right? And E determine A. E determine A. So A B C D E A B C D E. So this is again the whole relation R. So this is uh, B C is also a candidate key, right? Now find the closure of B D. So when you find the closure of uh, B D, then B D B D B D is simple B D, right? And uh, B D okay. B C and B D. Now now find the uh, closure of C B. C B C B already taken and C D yes C D what will be the closure of C D so the closure of C D is C D C D and C D determine E so you can write over here E and 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 E determine A you can write over here A and A determine B C uh, C is already there so B is there so A B C D E all the attribute over here whole relation R. So what happened? Till now the candidate key is A is the candidate key, E is the candidate key, B C is the candidate key and C D is the candidate key. Is it possible to make any more combination, uh, any more combination? But this thing should be clear. There should not uh, include A, E, B, C and C, D. So it is not possible to make any more uh, combination over here. So this relation consists the four candidate key, right? So I think uh, up to this, you will be understand how to find the candidate key, right? In next lecture, we will discuss how to find the non-redundant cover of F. Thank you.